Okay, let's start off with this video by being honest with ourselves. It is 9.30 on a Saturday night. I look like a grub, an actual grub, because I feel like a grub. I got like four hours of sleep last night. I got no sleep the week before. I have no prospect of getting sleep in the next week and I look like a grub. But you know what? You and I are here, here in this room with a ginormous mirror that I bought on a whim today. Ginormous. And we are going to refinish this mirror tonight instead of studying for the accounting exam I have on Monday like I should be doing. I don't normally advocate this kind of behavior. No, I'm not advocating this behavior. It's actually very unlike me, but I'm feeling like I need to just do something that I enjoy instead of what I should be doing right now. So this impulse has won the debate in my head and we're going to refinish this mirror tonight even though we'll probably be up till 2 a.m. doing it. But when I wake up in the morning and look at it, here's a little backstory. I have been looking for a mirror, a specific size mirror, a specific type of mirror for several months now. There have been failed attempts. There have been canceled Amazon orders. There have been delayed shipments. Long story short, the universe has not put a mirror into my hands that I feel like is the right thing. And then lo and behold, I was sitting in class on Thursday, scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and this jam of a mirror came to me on my suggested feed. Hour and a half away, pretty affordable price given the quality and size of the mirror. And I messaged the seller and I locked it in. And we rented a pickup truck this morning. We drove an hour and a half in the snow, which doesn't happen in early November, it snowed. So we drove in the snow, which was a whole other adventure in itself. And we picked up this mirror and now it's here, it's in my room. And I love it but it needs refinishing because the finish on the outside of the frame is just a little too rustic for my taste. It's very patina and I don't like it. So I purchased some supplies to refinish it myself. And you're probably thinking, Faith, that's not a good idea. It's gonna look like crap. It might. Um, I've refinished two other frames before in this same style of like fake gilding and they've turned out with moderate success. One of them I did in my redecorating my desk size video that was pretty popular. That was also a mirror, it's much smaller, but I'll be following a similar method today. Yeah, it could turn out terribly. I really don't know, but I'm gonna do my best and I'm going to try and respect the existing condition of this mirror. I don't wanna completely mask what's going on in this mirror, but there's definitely some things that I wanna change about it so it better fits my style. And yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna see where this night takes us. First things first, I need to clean the actual mirror because it got super dirty in the move. And then we're gonna wipe down the frame because I'm sure that's dirty too. And then we're gonna start painting and it might be a disaster, but you and I are here right now. We're probably gonna be up till 3 a.m. Welcome aboard, it's wild ride. Let's get to it. <laughs> this is the mirror. It's huge. It's about 42 inches wide and six feet tall. So 72 inches tall. It is ginormous. It has this beading on the inside and then obviously a pretty normal frame on the outside. And this big old mirror that has a beveled edge. And the thing I don't like about it is how patinaed some of the frame is. And it's also, you can't really tell because it's nighttime and the lighting in here is very warm. But in the daylight, the gold is very yellow. And I want an, a gold that is warmer. I want kind of an orange or gold, if that makes sense. And so we're gonna go back over it. You'll see the process, but it's going to be a base layer of gold. And then we're gonna go in with kind of a watery dark brown that'll seep into the cracks and give it another patina. And then we'll finish it off with a rub and buff. So we'll see how this goes. It could be a disaster. I'm just doing my best here. So fingers crossed I don't ruin this beautiful mirror because it is beautiful the way it is. It's just not perfectly my taste and I feel like making things complicated, so. <laughs> This is my super technical list of supplies I'm gonna be using for this project. I don't have any disposable like paper bowls, so I'm gonna be using this plastic bag as a liner for this Tupperware container, and hopefully I don't get paint all over the Tupperware, but we'll see. I have microfiber cloth and Windex to clean the mirror and the frame. I have these cloths that I got at Michael's, and these paints that were like the closest thing I could find to the color I want. They're by the Folk Art brand. I got it from Michaels. I got this for our patina, so a darker paint. I got some disposable gloves because I don't really feel like getting my hands absolutely covered in paint today. 
and the secret ingredient to any refinishing project, which is rub and buff. So you'll see how I use all these things, but all of these things I got from either Michael's or Lowe's, um, which I went to yesterday in preparation for picking up this mirror. You'll also notice that I have the mirror on a tarp because it's obviously on my bed and I don't wanna get paint all over my bedding, but this is literally the only space large enough in my apartment to do this. And I actually have it propped up on some books so that there's a little bit of a gap um, around the edge so that I can paint thoroughly. I will also be using painter's tape to tape off the edges. Lastly, I would like to note that I will be watching Chilling Adventures of Sabrina while I work tonight. I feel like it's a good project show. It's very entertaining. And yeah, we're gonna get into this. finished taping all the edges which actually took longer than I thought it would and now I'm going to start painting. I'm pretty nervous. This is kind of the point of no return so we're just gonna dive in. We're not gonna think about it. We're just going to do it. It'll turn out great. It will look great. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself. <laughs> this is definitely one of the things where you have to trust the process because it looks worse before it looks better so don't like get mad at me yet. Wait till you see the end. <laughs> It's about 11.45 and I've finished the first coat on the mirror. It definitely was the most time consuming because it was pretty much the like primer layer. So I had to get in all the nooks and crannies. And what I did was I just used this paint that I picked out. I watered it down probably 70-30 um, and that way some of the original texture and wood grain of the you know frame that was already on there shows through and I actually think it looks really good. I'm glad I watered it down. I think that was a good decision and so far, I'm not feeling like I ruined the mirror, but I think the next two steps are gonna help it look a little more aged and natural instead of just like a frame that's been painted over. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix a dark paint. I'm actually gonna add a little red and a little black to make this kind of darker and richer. And then I'm gonna water it down a lot, like probably 80-20, the 80 being water. And then I'll brush that on with a very large brush and what that'll do is because it's so watery it'll naturally seep into the cracks and that should give it a bit of a patina look but not as much as was on there before because it should really just be in the deepest parts of the mirror so that is step number two and it definitely should not take as long but i'll probably do closer to two coats of this step because since it's so watery it's kind of hard to see if you only do one coat so <laughs> It's so late. I don't do well with late nights. I'm not a night owl. It's almost 2 a.m. and all of these painting layers haven't been taking me a super long amount of time, but the thing is I'm having to wait for them to dry in between, especially the like last layer I did that was kind of liquidy. That takes longer to dry because it's like decent majority water, so I'm basically just waiting for it to evaporate. But that's all dry now and I'm gonna go in with the final step, which is the rub and buff. I'm only gonna be using this on the high points just to give it more of that gold leaf effect. And yeah, I think that's gonna be the finishing touch. And then I let it dry and I'll show you guys what it looks like in the morning because it's nighttime and the lighting isn't super good, but I'll show you the final product in the morning. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. I think I'll get a better sense of how it looks in the daylight once again, because like even I can't really tell 
tell what it's gonna look like, but I think it turned out pretty well. Like, I'm not like sitting here feeling like I completely ruined it, which I was kind of worried I would feel, so it's a good sign. <laughs> I'm gonna do this last step and then definitely go to bed because I am so tired. <laughs> so, let's get it. <laughs> two weeks later and I wanted to come on and give an reveal and how it's been wearing and just everything that went down after I ended that video. So I did finish the mirror and I absolutely love how it looks. I'm really really happy at how it turned out. I've been posting on Instagram and sharing it and a really phenomenal piece of furniture to add to my room. I feel like it just opens up the space. So I'm going to show some before and after like videos and pictures here. It doesn't really look like there's much of a difference just looking at it. I feel like you really only see the difference when you're looking at the before and after side by side. As you can see the four was just a lot darker and a lot like kind of dirtier but intentionally it was like the patina. It's not like it was literally dirty. I think it turned out perfectly. It was exactly the kind of like warm gold that I was going for. I love how it looks. I mean I know some people may not. Some people may have preferred it the original way but I'm really happy with it and I don't think it looks too fake <laughs> so at least in my opinion. And I wanted to give a few details about um, what I actually used in the refinishing process in case you're trying to do something similar because Midnight Faith, when I was filming that video, was not thinking very clearly or talking very cogently. Okay, so the real star of the show was this paint. It's, it was like the perfect color for what I was looking for and I would have been harder to mix that properly so I'm really glad I just found something that was already that color. This is the Folk Art Trusted Quality Brilliant Metallic Luster Paint in the color Copper, but I'd say it's honestly closer to a gold than it is a copper. It's just a warm gold and this is perfect. I loved it and I'll definitely be using it when I refinish other frames in the future. I bought an extra bottle so I'm very glad. This was the paint that I used for that darker patina. It's the Deco Art Americonic like paint in raw umber. I ended up adding some black and red to this to make it a little darker and warmer but any dark brown paint will do. Another thing I will note is in the video I said that I did kind of an 80-20 mixture with this and water and in actuality I think I ended up doing closer to a 50-50 mixture because the 80-20 mixture was just not showing up at all and I wanted at least some patina so I made a bit of a thicker mixture and that worked better. And then the last thing that I think is crucial is rub and buff. I always use the color antique gold and I think it does a great job. really really love how the year turned out. I think it was a fun project and I hope you didn't mind kind of goofy faith there in the video. I get kind of slap happy late at night. <laughs> I know I don't normally post DIYs but you guys kind of loved my desk makeover back in the day and th I thought this would be a similar vibe so I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I mean or any other <laughs> anything else you want to chat about in the comments and I will see you guys next week for another video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. I know this time of year can be stressful for a lot of people so sending you good vibes and I will see you in next week's video. Bye friends.